a lot of the photographs, 27,000, were apparently taken by the main source uh, for this report, a man who's been codenamed Caesar in order to protect uh, his identity and his family, uh, who was apparently uh, or allegedly a military police photographer and very much part of the system. Now, uh, one of the chilling things about this report is that if it's to be believed, and the very eminent international prosecutors who have validated it clearly do uh, believe this, <clears throat> uh, it shows a kind of cold, systematic, callous uh, documentation of these things from inside the regime itself. Uh, this photographer, uh, went, uh, often as many as 50 times a day, would be taking photographs of bodies who had been delivered to military hospitals uh, having died in detention, and they show uh, horrendous uh, marks of having been extremely maltreated and having died extremely uh, painful deaths. Um, so altogether, just from these pictures, there are 11,000 uh, bodies whose deaths have been documented in this way, systematically, from inside the regime. And I think that is what is so telling about this. And obviously, even those high figures are just the tip of the iceberg, because this is just um, one set of photographs, uh, many thousands of them, um, from one man so um, and in one part of the country. Uh, now, even just yesterday, for example, uh, activists reported 20 bodies uh, who had been tortured to death being delivered to the hospital in Harbour. That's just, uh, again, just a tiny indication that this uh, killing and torture uh, is continuing on, on a very large scale indeed.